Today we check out some of the best ways of capturing audio when you're starting out on YouTube. In the video I recently launched where I discussed 10 things I'd learned since putting my first 10 videos on YouTube, see the link above if you're interested in watching it, I discussed the importance of being able to capture clear and good quality audio. To paraphrase what I said in that video, whilst creating good looking content which engages your audience visually is quite easy these days, most modern devices and modern cameras take excellent quality video, getting the audio right is equally important, if not more so. Whilst creating good looking videos is very important, if you can't be heard in them, you'll lose your audience pretty quickly. When starting out, many will just rely on the audio that their camera captures natively. Here is an example of how the audio captured by my camera sounds. And let's face it, it's usable, but not great. Could you listen to an entire video that sounds like this? Now whilst you could spend a huge amount of time trying to fix that audio in post-production, I like to work on the principle that if you start off with something poor quality, then no matter how much time and effort you spend on it, you're always going to end up with a compromised product at the end. So when I started out on YouTube, I spent quite a bit of time researching what cheap but effective options are out there for me to really up my sound game. And I came up with two, the lavalier mic and the shotgun mic. But before I go through the makes and models of microphone I bought, Let's go and look at what these types of microphones are and their pros and cons. Let's start by talking about shotgun mics. Not that kind of shotgun. This is a shotgun mic and you've probably seen these used by a lot of folk on YouTube where they're vlogging or moving around and creating content. These are usually designed to mount to the shoe of your camera and plug directly into the audio port, meaning that ultimately these are used to replace the microphone which is built into your camera. And this is the first pro when it comes to this type of microphone. As it does replace the microphone built into your camera, it means that the audio that's being captured is naturally synchronized to the video that's being recorded. There's no need to try and join the two of them together and synchronize later on in post-production. They're really easy to use. And when it comes to the audio that a shotgun mic will capture, as you can see from this diagram, the vast majority of the sound that it picks up will be from in front of it, if you presume that the microphone is pointing in the same direction as the arrow. However, you can also see that it will capture sound from behind and the sides of the microphone, meaning that it will pick up some sound from the environment that it's based in. And this can be both a pro and a con, depending on your use case. If you're in a situation where you want to capture somebody's voice who's standing in front of the camera, but also want to capture some of the sound from the environment around them, then that is a positive. However, if that's not what you're looking for, maybe you just want to isolate the voice, or maybe you're in a very noisy environment, meaning that you don't really want all of that sound drowning out what you're meant to be focusing on, then it could be considered a con. Where the shotgun mic is really useful is in a situation where maybe you're interviewing a number of people. If you are out and about, maybe interviewing members of the public, asking them questions to get their thoughts, you're not going to be in a situation where you can mic them all up individually. That's just not plausible. If you're out and about in public, alone with your camera, asking people questions, then a shotgun mic is a perfect situation to be able to capture their voices in this situation. As long as you're relatively careful with regards to how close you stand to your subject in order to capture balanced audio between takes, then you should be able to capture your interviewee's voices with no problem at all. On the flip side, one situation that shotgun mics don't really deal with that well is where you're moving in relation to the camera. For example, whilst I'm sitting here, close to the camera and the microphone, you can hear me really well. However, as I move further away, you'll see in this example that the microphone will start to lose my voice. At this distance from the microphone, you should be able to hear me pretty well. However, as I move further away, the microphone will start to lose my voice. Until you can hear pretty much nothing at all. I can imagine at this distance, it's probably not picking up anything. And this inconsistency can be a problem. In my videos, I like to film in different locations, sometimes at my sofa, sometimes here at my desk, and sometimes not even in this room. And that can be a bit of a problem because I'm never going to be the same distance from the microphone at all times. That will mean that the audio levels captured will be different between those locations. So unless I spend a lot of time in post-production really trying to level out the audio, there will be a noticeable difference in each of those sections of my video. So shotgun mics are awesome when you're out running and gunning, maybe interviewing people, or in a situation where you want to capture not only the subject, but some of the environment around it. But they are less useful in a situation where maybe you just want to isolate somebody's voice or a single subject and you don't want any environmental noise, or you're going to be shooting in multiple locations and want to ensure you get a consistency in the voice that you are capturing. An alternative to a shotgun mic is a lavalier or lav mic, and these are heavily used by both YouTube content creators and also professional production companies who are creating shows for television. 
They are super simple to use. You'd usually just attach them to yourself by clipping them onto your t-shirt or a piece of clothing that you're wearing. And the fact that they are actually attached to you means they give you a super consistent level of audio. Now you need to plug them into a device to actually record the audio, but the one I own, which we'll come on to later in the video, actually gives you the flexibility to either plug it directly into your camera or into an external recording device. I actually use my phone to capture the audio that my lav mic's picking up. I simply plug it into the phone using an adapter. As it's an iPhone, I have to plug it into the lightning port and then use the native memo app to actually record the audio. Test, test, test. Test, test, test. And this is an excellent solution, as I'm completely mobile when recording. I'm not tethered to the camera, so it doesn't matter whether I'm sat here, whether I'm stood here, whether I'm leaving the room. Oh, totally forgot I had the microphone on. As the microphone is attached to me, it will always pick up a consistent level of sound. So where I move in relation to the camera is completely irrelevant. So if you'll be changing location whilst filming and you want to capture a consistent level of your voice, then a lavalier mic could be the perfect solution for you. The consistent capture of audio is definitely a pro for this microphone. Unlike a shotgun mic, they have a very short range. They really only capture audio from within a foot or so of the microphone itself. This means they're excellent for isolating a voice. They won't really capture any background noise, unlike a shotgun mic. And similarly to before, this could be viewed as a pro or a con depending on your use case. If you're in a situation where you want to capture a voice or a distinct subject, but also a lot of background noise, then a lavalier mic is probably not what you need. However, if you're filming a lot of talking head content like this, and you really just want to focus on somebody presenting to the camera, then a lav mic is probably your best choice. A lav mic is an amazing tool, especially if you want to capture a voice and the consistency it will provide you is really unsurpassed compared to any other kind of microphone. Also, the mobile nature that it can provide you means you can use it anywhere, and it is definitely a useful tool to have in your arsenal. However, if you want to be mobile, then you'll have to find a device you can actually use to capture the audio that your mic is picking up, and also then you'll have to synchronize that audio with your video later in post-production. However, these days in tools like Premiere Pro, that synchronization is really easy. But to answer the question which I'm sure you're all asking, Tom, that's great information, but what do you use? Well, the answer is actually both. I record all of my videos using both a shotgun mic and a lavalier mic. Actually, that's a bit of a misrepresentation. Whilst I record my videos using both the shotgun and the lavalier mic, I generally always end up using the audio captured by my lavalier microphone. And that's because generally, the type of content I record really involves me talking to the camera. And so isolating my voice is important. I really just use a shotgun microphone as a better fallback option than the microphone built directly into my camera should, for whatever reason, my lavalier microphone audio fail. And these things happen. Sometimes I just forget to hit record on the lavalier microphone, other times the microphone has become unplugged from the phone so it's not capturing anything. And having that secondary backup, which is actually usable, really means that should I do that, I don't have to go and re-record an entire section of a video just due to a simple mistake. And this is a setup I'd recommend to anybody who recalls talking head sections like I do. Now there are tons of different makes and models of lavalier and shotgun microphones and if you're thinking about going to purchase one of these then please do your research. However, if you're just starting out and you're looking for low cost options then I really would recommend the two microphones I use. And this video is in no way sponsored by the companies that make them. My lavalier microphone is a Boyer BYM1. And these can be picked up for around £14 here in the UK or actually $14 in the US. And that's an amazing price when you consider the versatility that this little microphone will provide you and also the quality that it's capable of. It comes with the clips you need to attach it to your clothing and also the little shield that you can put on it to prevent from wind noise or sound distortion. It also comes with a little fake leather bag. However, the real kicker with this little microphone, as previously mentioned, is the fact that it can be used either directly with the camera or plugged into an external recording device, including a mobile phone. That kind of flexibility at this price point is awesome. And the shotgun microphone I use is a Techstar SGC598, and they're a little more expensive. They come in at around £30 or $35. US dollars. And for that price, the build quality is excellent. And it also provides you with some optionality with regards to the sound it captures. It has settings for the EQ that you can switch between, and also you can drop the sensitivity of the microphone by 10 decibels should you be in a really loud situation. And for me, the fact that it will give you a much better option than a native microphone camera is a godsend. Now undoubtedly both of these microphones are on the budget end of the equation and there are much more expensive options out there from the likes of Rode and Shure and other big manufacturers. If you're just getting started out and you don't want to spend a gigantic amount of money then I think the microphones I own would do an excellent job. And the one thing I really would question is whether a microphone that costs five times as much as these will give you five times better the result. 
And so to summarise, the audio that you record alongside your video is really important, and giving some consideration as to what you're going to use to capture that audio will really give you a better end product. Really give some consideration to what types of content you'll be creating. Will you be more presenting to a camera like this, where you may want to isolate a voice? Or will you be more outdoors, maybe taking more action sports type content where you may want to capture some ambient noise? Then consider what type of microphone really suits that use case best, a shotgun mic or a lavalier mic. Whatever you do though, don't forget to consider the fact that a secondary redundancy recording is worth its weight in gold. If like me you have a penchant for forgetting things and you get to an end of a recording and found out maybe you didn't turn the microphone on or didn't hit record in the first place, then that good quality backup will really really come in useful. And that is it for today's video folks, I hope you found it useful. I've added links to all of the products I discussed into the description box below. If you did enjoy this video, please consider liking and subscribing, and if you do have any questions, comments or feedback, please leave them in the comments section below. And until next time, have a great day.